Hello everybody, and in this tutorial I'm going to explain to you virtual functions. So what is a virtual function? Well, let's say that we have inheritance. So we have a base class, for instance an animal, and we have a function that we want one of our child classes to modify because a child class might behave differently. So let's say we have an animal with a move function. The basic move function will just slowly move something around, but a cat and a mouse, they will both move around really quickly. So what we can do is we can use variables for that and modify the variables, but what might be easier to do is just overwrite a function. So how do we overwrite a function? What we do is we specify the virtual keyword in front of a function. So all we have is virtual, the return type, the function name, and then between the self brackets all the attributes that we need. So as an example, we have a virtual void called update with a delta time, and the only thing that specified that it was virtual so that we can modify it, that's the virtual keyword. Then we also have something different, something called a pure virtual function. What is a pure virtual function? A pure virtual function is a function that needs to be overwritten by a child class. The class cannot work without it being overwritten. So basically the base class that you have, you cannot create it because it has a pure virtual function. So it has a function without any definition. You need to create a definition external. How do we declare a pure virtual function? Well, the same way that we just declare a virtual function, only with and is equal to zero at the end. So let's now dive into the code and actually create some virtual functions for ourselves. So here I am again with a cat and mouse example from last episode, and let's now make the make sound function virtual. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to the animal.h file and we're going to specify virtual in front of the make sound function. Virtual void make sound. Okay. What we're now going to do inside of the animal.cpp is just copy this and remove it. So a basic animal will not make any sound. It will not do anything if you call it a function. So let's now go to the cat.h for instance. And then under the public keyword, we're going to specify a void called make sound with no parameters. And what we're going to do is we're going to type override. This is important. This will specify that we're going to overwrite the function that we had and then end it with a semicolon. Then we're going to create a declaration and simply just paste it in here. And then we're going to do the same with mouse. So we're going to type void make sound no parameters override. And we're going to create a definition too. And we're just going to paste it in here. So what we're going to do right now is in the main at CPP file is once again include animal. And now we can just create an animal, so let's just change this back to animal. And then also create a, a mouse. mouse. And then also call the mouse that makes sound function. So now if we run the program, as you will see, is we're just going to see the cat and mouse. So we're just going to see mouse, peep, cat, meow. We're not going to see anything from the animal. That's because in the animal.cpp file, we specified that make sound doesn't do anything. To further show you that this actually works, we're going to modify the mouse function. So let's say we want the mouse function to also end with uh, an explanation mark because we want the mouse to be really, really, really aggressive. So as you can see right now, it's this mouse peep explanation mark and cat meow. So that shows us that it will call the correct function based on what class it is, because we made the original one a virtual void. So let's now make a pure virtual function. How we do that is we specify is equal to zero at the end. So now we need to delete the declaration of animal that makes sound because it's a pure virtual function, so there can't be no definition inside of the base class. So if you now go back to main.cpp, you will see that animal has a squiggly line underneath it, and it will say object of abstract class type animal is not allowed. Function animal make sound is a pure virtual function. So what this means is we cannot create a base animal anymore. We need to create an animal of a specific type. So if you just remove anything that has the animal in it right now, and if we run it again, what you will see is it will still just call the functions that we've created earlier. So the mouse peep with an explanation mark at the end and a cat meow. So what we've learned right now is what a virtual function is, so how we can override a specific function, and we've learned what a pure virtual function is, so how we can create a function that needs to be overwritten. This is really handy if you want to have, for instance, different animals or different NPCs that all behave differently on, let's say, for instance, walking, that all walk differently. 
but you don't want anybody to be able to just create an animal, like a pure animal or a pure MPC. They need to be an MPC of a specific type. Then we can use pure virtual functions. So we can specify that we need specific behavior that's different from all the rest for this specific class. That was it. Thanks for watching. And in the next episode, I'm going to explain to you what arrays are. So be prepared.